three things you can do if you don't know what you want. The first step is to slow down. Pause. Give yourself some time. In this culture, we're always going so fast, and we're always expected to have an answer immediately, but we don't always have an answer immediately. So slow down. Give yourself the time you need to come into your body, because that's where you need to go. The mind is great and can do a lot of things, but when we're in those first steps of figuring out what we want, our mind is not very helpful. We need to be in our bodies, and if there's a lot happening, if there's a lot of mental movement or distractions, we might even need a little more time. We might even need to say, give me a day, give me 24 hours, give me 48 hours, and I'll get back to you. It's okay to pause. It's okay to slow down. You're under no obligation to answer someone immediately. And if you feel like you're obligated to answer immediately, that might be a good thing to reflect on, to reflect on the agreements of that relationship. The second thing you can do is to just turn off your mind. So often when we're asked what we want, we go up into our minds and we begin going through lists. And those lists are super helpful later. But right now, when you're trying to figure out what you want, your mind is not going to be helpful because it's just going to be going through a list and thinking about pros and cons. Because the third thing you need to do is notice your body. And if you're in your mind, if you're in your head, you're not going to be able to notice your body because you want to know what you want to feel. That is one of the main pieces of figuring out what you want. Is not the thing to not go into your head and think of the thing that you want, but to first go into your body and notice what you want to feel. Do you want to feel calm? Do you want to feel excited? Do you want to taste something bitter or sweet? Do you want to feel connected? Do you want to feel like you have a lot of space? The sky's the limit in terms of what you want to feel. You can want to feel anything. But if you're in your head going through lists, you are not going to be able to notice what you want to feel. Now those lists can come in handy once you anchor in to that feeling that you want to embody. Then you can connect to the mind. Then you can go up and think, all right, what on this list can help me get there? That's when you can ask for what you want. That's what makes it easier to slow down, Turn off your mind, go into your body, and notice what you want to feel. My name is Adam B. I'm a sex and relationship coach. This is a lot of what I do with clients and with myself, my own lovers, my own partners. This is what we do. This is what makes navigating ourselves, our desires, our relationships a lot easier. I don't want to have to guess what you want. I want you to tell me what you want, and I'll tell you what I want. But if I can't be present in my own body, that's going to be really hard.